All right, hey guys, it's Rachel from Tiramore Farms. I'm back here in my bathroom with my eggs and we are gonna candle them today. We're gonna do this really simply. I don't have any fancy equipment to do this. What I'm gonna be using is an empty toilet paper roll because that is how fancy we are here and a headlamp just a nice bright LED type headlamp in a dark room that's all we need to candle these eggs and I'm really excited about it I cheated and I already candled a couple yesterday which was day seven today is day eight so it's the perfect time to do it and I'm hoping we've got lots going on in here and I think you're gonna be really excited about some of what you're gonna see it's really really cool to candle eggs if you've never done it before highly recommend it great for kids do it so let's get started I'm gonna cut the lights and get ready and we're gonna candle okay I'm gonna to try to do this as quickly as possible um, so that the eggs don't cool off too much but I do have a lot to do so hopefully we can get through them pretty quick and I'm really hoping you can see pretty well because it's really really cool um, so what we're doing we're sticking our flashlight into our toilet paper roll so that it's shooting out as a tube um, and you can do this with any kind of flashlight. You do want a brighter one if possible, like this. And then we just take the egg. And there is the embryo. Let me see if I can get it to focus for you. Hang on just a second. That is a little baby chick. Isn't that just the coolest thing in the world? You can even see it moving around. Like, that is just amazing to me that <laughs> these little breakfast balls, basically, with a little bit of heat and humidity in eight days, eight days, and it's moving like this. Isn't that cool? <laughs> okay, let's move on. I'm not too worried about having the incubator off for a short time because Mama moves them around, you know, so I'm not really concerned about it, but I do want to try to be quick. This one... Um, the embryo is over here, I think. It's a little less obvious. This is a little bit of a darker egg. This is an Easter egg or egg, I think. So it's not pure white. But I definitely think I see... Yeah, there it is. There it is. There's definitely one in there, I think. Now, when we get to some of the darker ones, I think it's going to be... A little more difficult to tell because of the darker shell but oh and see this one I think is a dud see I don't see any veining at all the only darkness I see is what I believe is the egg yolk there's no veining there's no obvious embryo so I'm not gonna take it out because I could be wrong um, so I'm not going to take it out right now. I'll keep an eye on it if it doesn't change when I candle again in a few more days, like another week or so. I'll take it out. But as of right now, I think this one's empty. That's okay. You know, not every egg gets fertilized. Not every fertile egg is going to produce. So, just a part of life. Here's a barred rock egg. See, this one, we're getting into the darker shells. I don't know how well you can see it. There is an embryo in this one, though. I hope you can kind of see it. It's more difficult to tell with the darker ones, though, but I'm not seeing... That may be an embryo there. You can't really see it. But I think this one may be a go. This one's a little bit small for my toilet paper roll. And this is a copper moran egg. So I don't think that I'm going to be able to show you much of it. I'm having trouble seeing it myself. So I'm not positive about this one, guys. It's really a really dark shell. And I am struggling to see it. To say it, I just got real southern there for a second. I'm struggling to say it. Yeah, I think that I see an embryo. I know you're not going to be able to see it. Yeah, it's like totally dark. Um, see, that's how dark that egg is. It's very difficult to see through that one. 
Yeah, there's embryo action on this one, for sure. Can see it moving around. I really hope you can see it pretty well on the camera. Here's another really, really dark egg. I don't think I'm going to be able to show you much or see much myself. You really, really need a really bright light to try to candle these copper moran eggs. I just can't. I just can't see it. These are all going to be a surprise to me. If I had like a true egg candling light, I'm maybe, but with the dark and with an egg that dark, I just can't see it. See that? A nice white egg we can see through really clearly to see the embryo. Isn't that cool? Sometimes the embryo can actually be kind of centered in the egg, which makes it hard to see, and I think that's what's happening here. But I do see veining on this one. I don't know how well you can see it, but this one's a dud. Yeah, this one has nothing. I'm pretty sure, almost positive, that there's nothing in there but yolk. You can see how it's just a totally different look. There's no veining. There's not a lot of dark shadowing. There's no movement. It's just empty and then a little shadow where the yolk would be. There we go. That's better. That one has the embryo moving in it. And veining too. I'm setting them back in and I'm going to cover them back up and get them warming back up now. Okay, so and it's also time to turn them. So I'll show you, we just very gently turn them to the other side when it's time to turn them. So yeah, that was candling them. I hope you think it's as cool as I do because I think it's really, really awesome to see the little chicks moving around in their shells. But um, anyway, I'm really excited. I think we're going to have a good hatch rate. Fingers crossed that everything goes well. And if it does, I'll see y'all again when they hatch and I will record that for you so I can show you them hatching. <laughs> So thanks for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed it. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I'm at Tiramar Farms, all those places. And I will see y'all again next time. And you can subscribe to this channel down below as well so you don't miss the baby chickies hatching. So thanks again, and I'll see y'all next time.